All right, everyone, it's your boy Fernie here, back with another gaming and chatting video, this time doing part two of the wonderful game Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. So this is going to be part two. Last time we were doing the intro and then looking at some of the very first rooms whenever you enter the first level here. Now we're at the second part where we're in a big room. We left it off at a big empty room wondering essentially what the inside of this room entailed and then we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's play. As you can see, these are the original graphics still. I haven't changed anything. I haven't added any modifications, none of the upgrades. I'm just playing it as is. Look at that 90s resolution. Top of the notch right there. All right. There's the trusty orange lightsaber of Kyle Katarn. Then let me go ahead and I'll save, save, save. All right, let's go. So I never found out essentially what this room does. So we'll just leave it as is. But I'm going to show you all again the objectives. Help the Republic soldiers repel. Switch comm station to auxiliary. Bypass the Imperials. And I found one out of six secrets. So I need to find five more. And again, I'm playing this for 30 minutes only. Oh, wait. There we are. Gotta have that lightsaber sound playing in the background. So 30 minutes and go. So now without figuring out that room status, we're just gonna go upstairs. There's this dude. What are you doing, dude? You're hiding. Look at you. And this dude is scared. The whole place is being bombarded, right? And he's like just hiding up here. Shame, shame, sir. People are dying out there. Well, that dude is hiding over there, too. As you can see, um, if you haven't seen my walkthroughs before, I'm just examining everything within each room. It's always fun to see what the developers have done. Oh, look at this. Glitch. This is what I mean. Look at that. There's the beam. And it stops right there. You can kind of see the remnants of the beam. You, can, you see right there where my lightsaber is at? Right there. You can kind of see there's a where my crosshairs are. There's a line right here, right? And then there's another one just barely visible. But check this out. Over here, there's a glitch. Look at that. The beam right here is maybe about an inch, two inches off base. So developers looks like we got another one of your things here to catch in fact let me show you all down here again this was this was the other one that i caught last time you see how there's that part right there right and there's that part right there so my guess was that the developers developed this grid here whatever this bitmap is of this computer module but they made it too small they didn't catch the sides so instead they just put this nonchalant piece of metal right there to fill in the sides interesting right and then over here here you have even more of a glitch look at that isn't that great i love finding stuff like that now where am i supposed to go oh yeah i'm supposed to go up here if i remember last time these are the areas. Move out of the way, sir. Not going to do much, sir. And then there's all these buttons. Shiny red buttons. I do like this detail. Look at this. Three of these are white. Three of these are red. So what does that mean? All right, at least they were able to differentiate that. Watch this. Boom! Oh, wait, let me save, save, save. Forgot which one was the flashlight. Setup, controls, keyboard. Oh, I don't have flashlight. What?
How do I not have flashlight? Or is the lightsaber supposed to basically be it? I thought could have sworn the game had one involving a flashlight. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I was going to show y'all this. That's how dark it is without it. Look at that. Pitch black, right? Can't see squat. But when you turn on the flash, the trusty, uh, the flash of this lightsaber, boom! Instant light. Uh oh! Uh oh! We got some action! Got him! Oh wait, no! This is why I love Force Pool. Because it takes care of all the business. And now we get to slaughter. Look at that. I just got friendly fire. Oh, there's another one. Stand in your post. Nope. Nope. Stand in your post and you die. How about that? Oh, I forgot that the lightsaber does that. Oh, who's hitting me? Who's hitting me? Somebody hit me? Somebody hit me? What you doing, Holmes? Boom! What's that noise? You hear that? Sound like a spacecraft. Excuse you? Try that again, sir. It's like picking fish out of a barrel whenever they don't have any of their equipment. I'm just examining these rooms before I finish off the rest of them. Alright, so this area looks like... Well, actually, let me finish up these guys first. Then I can examine everything. Ow! What was that? Ah! Who's hitting me? Punk? I got friendly fired right there. Look at that. So many stormtroopers. So little time. Where you going? Oh. One second. I've noticed this game does that. Lower the controls freeze. Alright, first things first. Let me get the hell out of here. Because when they're doing that bombardment stuff, it hurts. Alright, so I'm down to... Well, actually, I got some more health, so we're good. Okay, you see that? That's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay, so this place looks like from earlier. Remember in the part one, there was another open area like this. So the stormtroopers would have landed here, as we saw a bunch of them were right here. And then Kaboomski, they blew up all of this right here. Blew it up and then went. Oh, what were you doing here, Holmes? They blew this entire wall up and then went inside here. And so easily they were able to come in and then started uh, basically picking off these guys right here. But what would this room be? Look at this. It's another big empty room. There's absolutely nothing. And again, you can hit tab and then see some of the um, hidden rooms through the grid here. There's no hidden rooms over here. And again, I love the detail here. They blew it up and look at these pop marks all here. Fascinating stuff. So this room is just a big empty room. There's nothing here. What would they put in here? What would the Rebels have done? Would they have put machines? Some kind of um, spaceships? 
And then look at this part right here. This looks weird. This looks like it's the same pop mark stuff, but for some reason it's just this wall. Like nothing. Not nothing else. Can't cut through it. Nothing special about it. It's just a random wall that happens to have this feature. Makes me wonder what the developers were thinking right here. Like, were they looking to do something relevant? Look at this part. How, look at how weird that wall is. It's like there's a beam of some sort right here. And then that's it. The only thing I can think of is that the rebels were expanding this area. Building into it. And obviously their plans got stopped with this invasion. So that's the closest thing I think of is that this is a location that was going to be built for another room. Kind of like this became this room. I imagine this would one day be like that room. Alright. And there's nothing over here. Also these, these, these walls fascinate me because as you can see here it's not covered you see how there's concrete right here but then this is the actual part of the wall that's not covered that shows what's behind it so why isn't this cordoned off like why doesn't this get covered with concrete oh we got two doors which one which one both of them lead to somewhere you see how the grid shows open areas right we'll go with door left Let's do this. Ooh. Who's over here? Remember, I'm trying to find secrets. Oh, this goes even deeper. Um. There we go. Ah! You were saying? Sorry? Y'all were saying something? Supposedly the stormtroopers with the red mark here have a little bit more health and their aim is better than the other troopers. At least according to the manual that I was reading. Let's see if there's any hidden area right here. Uh, doesn't look like it. But it doesn't mean you could slice. Nope. Look at the detail though right here. These look like open vents. Like there's vents and there's open... In real life there would be open valves or something behind them. Right? So that would allow the uh, area to have some ventilation right here. Watch, uh, you know, you just know there's going to be stormtroopers, both on the left and right. So the fastest way to get rid of them is this. Okay. <laughs> ah! Wait, whoa, whoa. somebody just died. What was that? Did I miss someone? Alright, time to examine the rooms. So we went from this area with the open vents. Let's see if anything else stands out. Oh, look at this. I don't remember these. These look like hieroglyphics. Language. Language, the rebel language. Or as the Star Wars universe calls them, Galactic Basic or Basic Galactic. That's the letterings of them. They're nowhere else, right? Yeah, no, they're nowhere else. They start right here, right? Unless I missed them. Oh, they were here on the walls the whole time. Look at that. What does that lettering say? Hmm? Then they lead to this area. It reminds me of the wonderful game Half-Life, how there were um, hallways with special lettering and coloring. 
and the hallways or the colorings would lead you to the department you need to go to. So I'm wondering if this is what that means too. Like this could be leading you to the gun room or the engine room. You just follow these letters, right? Now we got some rooms here. Oh, we got some quarters. Look at that. Give me some of that life. I love the details like this. So this is the rebel base. And this these are the living quarters. Where they sleep. Isn't that neat? So, Mr. Rebel Base, sir. Do you hear something? Someone say something? No. Mr. Rebel Base, sir, would have his bed right here. And then you would have something here. What is this panel for? Is this to uh, call someone? Make contact? Oh, is it a uh, replicator? You know how Star Trek has that wonderful device that creates food out of thin air? Would this be it for them? Hmm? And then here, they had something here. Obviously, for us, it was the health. But this would be their storage areas or something. And then here is their bed. Let's lie down on the bed. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm on the bed. They even have a little blanket of a strange design right here. I love when the developers do this. This is a great detail. That looks like a little heart. I don't know what the rest of it looks like, but it looks like a blanket. So they would be resting here. Look at that. This is the point of view of a rebel base officer resting after work, quote unquote work. Cool, huh? This is their view. They would be right here. They'll be watching something on their telepad or reading something. Did they listen to music in Star Wars? Maybe. Listening to their cassette tape or whatever they had. And they would be splayed out right here on the bed like that. After... Well, on the Rebel base, would you consider it work? Like, do they work eight hours a day and then just spend the rest of the time here or are they always on 24 hours a day and looks like this is their version of a window but obviously they're underground now because the rest of the base looked like it was dug into that cavern so this is just a light oh you can even see some animation interesting So this is the light that hits them as they're resting here within the rebel base. Great stuff. Let's go to the next one. Who, 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 who's hitting me? Who, who this? Who this? How dare you, sir? Oh, he got him. Where'd you come from? Damn. Alright, now we got another room here. Oh, look at that. I got a back to tank. Which I believe is health. And then here's the identical uh, dorm room or something from the other side. Right down to the same grid. Let's see if that looks the same. We got four dots and two yellow. Let's see if that looks the same. No, it's different. Look at that. You see how this has four dots all yellow? But it's up and down. This one is four dots, two yellow, and then it's just there, like left to right. So the developers even changed it so that it doesn't match. Oh, no. We got a dead rebel here. Is he dead? Are you dead? Oh, he's dead. Look at that. He is dead. Oh, lots of health. Oh, man. Oh, this is a it's a bunk bed. Look at that. Two of them. What happened, Holmes? I'm trying to see if we can get a better view. Yeah, there we go. Ah, damn it. There we go.
Yeah, he's dead. Look at that. You can even see the eyes. Like, the eyes are rolled up. Those, uh, the developers added that little detail. It just looks like his eyes are just completely dead. What happened, man? Looks like he died right here. So, whatever this life this rebel officer had, something happened to him. He was brought over here. And then while the base is under attack, sometime before that, uh, before right now, me walking into the room, he just ended up dying right here. No animation, nothing. Wow. Peace. Rest in peace, rebel officer. It's a shame. That's your last vanish point. Think of it this way. This is how morbid it gets. This rebel base, after I leave this... Do you hear that? Did somebody yell? Um, this rebel base, after it, I leave this area, will presumably never be um, walked through again. Like, who's going to find it? The rebels are known to move from operation to operation. Um, they always have to stay ahead, one step ahead from the Empire, and then eventually the First Order. So in this case, this guy is going to stay here for all time. Like, this, this base itself is going to be shut down. All of it just shut down, abandoned, and his body is going to be left right here. Eventually, it's just going to turn into a skeleton, and then that's it. Like, nobody's going to know where he's at. His family, wherever they're at. However close or far away, family, like whether he had a wife or kids or whether it was siblings, parents, whatever, they're gone. Like they won't know, they're not going to know where he was. And no, unless somebody takes a valiant venture to come out here by themselves and then try to go in here and collect his body, that's the last of it. So say farewell. Gee, you hear that? You hear screaming? So say farewell to the final resting place of this rebel anonymous soldier peace all right let's go to the next room another one. Oh, look at that we're back up to a hundred oh, another one bites the dust look at that ay, ay, ay. can't jump on this one either they don't want you to jump on there, maybe. There we go. Yeah, it's the same animation. Same upward eyes. Looks like it's the same pose, too. So both of these rebel officers are donezo. Bye-bye. And bye-bye. Sad. The last moments were there. And look, another grid. Another replicator. Looks completely different than the other ones. Alright, now we were over here. Here's something. What is that noise? Yes, I am in a restricted area. You gonna do something? Like this? Punk? Although, I don't want to get too far. Let me go back over here because there was this other, this one just goes into that room, yeah. This one right here. Locked. Ah, now that tells me where I gotta go. Locked. Can you say it one more time, Kyle? Locked. Yep, it's locked. If only a lightsaber could slice through this, right? Cannot. Oh, look at this. I forgot what the term is called, but there's a term where you can see faces always fan um, patterns. Does that not look like a face right there? Two eyes staring right back at me. So clearly we got to go through here, but it's locked. So that forces you to go through here. So these are all the dorms. Say goodbye, everyone, to the dorms associated with the Rebel base. And now it looks like we're in a inventory room. Clearly an inventory room. This is where you can pick up shotgun shells and bombs. Oh, that looks like a key. Yep, it's a blue key. 
Oh no, this guy's dead. Oh no, this is an officer, right? Yeah, that's that's a imperial officer. So he's one of the bad guys. I still don't see another secret area, guys. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, look at this, look at this. I see some open room up there. I got it! Look at that, I got a secret area. Right here. There's another one right there. That's what you gotta look for. Uh. Yeah, I got another one! What is this revive? What does that mean? BAM! Got two in one. So let's go back over here. Objectives. Three out of six. I still don't have any of these. Three. What's up with that? So I got a blue key. So presumably that leads me to that locked room that I was just at. So let me see what's up here. Ah. Sorry, again, my mouse does that every now and then. Sliced off his arm, no less. Boom! Let's see, is there any hidden room? No. So again, another open spot. You know, the rebels need to think this through better. Like, they left not just one, not two, but three open areas right here, right? Look at that. And then it's e it was easy pickings for the um, stormtroopers to just be able to blow this up right here. They blew it up and then they easily got access. Yes, I'm talking to you, sir. You need to think this better next time. You, uh, you see how the eyes? Look at that. You see pupils right there, right? But the other ones you did not. That is detail, everyone. That is attention to detail. Like when it comes to the developers. They took the time out to make them look slightly different when they're dead. Now this is another big empty room. That doesn't make any sense. Clearly it got blown up on that wall. This room does make sense. This was the inventory room right here. Where they stashed a lot of their equipment. And then again, walking over here, this is the area involving the uh, dorms. Say goodbye, everyone, to those two officers. Although, I like the detail on this. The rebels hid more inventory up there in case they needed it. It was too late for them, but for me, I was able to grab it. Alright, let's go over here then. Now, if everything is correct, I'm going to be able to open this door now. Ready? Yeah, look at that. Boom! Oh, oh, we got some action. Gentlemen, do your job. Yep, shoot him up. I'll finish him for you. Look at that! That is a big ship right there. I'm wondering if it's gonna fly off. Yep, look at that. Isn't that cool? It flew off. Oh, we got a new weapon. That's new. Punk? How dare you hit me? Oh look, he's got a special... The other ones had the red one. 
This one is like a black one. And he's got a special backpack too. Actually, I'm at 30 minutes right now, so this will be a good spot. Let me go ahead, I'll save it right here. Save, save, save. And that's it. So this concludes part two of the Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith game. We just went past that dorm room area. Um, and now we're in this other part. So in the part three, we're going to see where this takes it next time. But we have now found three of the six hidden levels. And or six secrets. Um, and then hopefully we'll finish the other three items that are needed. But all right, everyone. We'll see you all next time. Take care.